Then the problem is for people to get together, to leap governments, if necessary, to evade governments, to work out not one method, but thousands of methods by which people can gradually learn a little bit more of each other. The date, ironically, September 11th, September 11th of 1956, President Eisenhower announcing his People to People program, the intent of that program to foster relationships internationally through education, cultural exchange, and humanitarian actions. As we continue on America's Forum, it's worth noting that Ike believed everyday people around the world would be the ones to bring the world together, not governments. And now, almost 60 years later, a similar program is underway with many of the same goals. The, the name of this new program, The World Peace Caravan, and we're pleased to be joined by two women speaking out about world peace. First, Susan Johnson, the director of operations for the World Peace Caravan, who's Skyping in from Idaho and phoning in from Pakistan. The World Peace Caravan ambassador for Pakistan, Anum Nawaz. Ladies, we, we thank you both for your time. Uh, Susan, first to you, we know there's a summit coming up at the end of the year, and we'll talk some about that in a little while. But first, would you tell us a little more about the World Peace Caravan? Sure. The World Peace Caravan is, actually comes out of a dream of a gentleman by the name of D. Gary Young, and he dreamed of bringing people together from all over the world. And in his dream, the dream went from uh, Petra Jordan to Jerusalem, Israel. So we actually have a 12-day camel caravan traveling from December 15th to December 26th um, in an actual camel caravan inviting people from around the world to join us. Now, Anam, you are the World Peace Caravan Ambassador for Pakistan. Uh, how have your efforts been received by your fellow Pakistanis? I think there's been a lot of uh, hype uh, since I've launched uh, my project on Facebook. Um, I'm basically working on uh, the sustainable development goal of healthy lives for all. And um, under this, um, I've created a project. It's called My Voice Unheard. And uh, the idea is that a lot of people do not express themselves, and um, that is related to living healthy lives. Um, I just uh, uploaded this yesterday, and since then, there have been about 50 likes on my page. Uh, just the fact that people would be able to express themselves, and I think um, there's a lot of uh, scope to this project uh, coming up. I think this is going to be an amazing journey for all of us. Anam, we understand that you emphasize education. It is worth asking, in Pakistan, uh, is are there differences in education for boys as opposed to girls? Well, that really depends region region to region. It varies. Uh, like in the cities, uh, women are getting educated even from villages um, or um, areas which are not very well developed. Uh, women would travel to cities to get educated. Uh, but yet, again, there are places where women are not allowed to get uh, education. Uh, we have diversity in this aspect. I myself grew up in a city, and I got educated with the support of my parents. And I, I've been to other countries as well for my educational purposes. Um, so it really depends on the region um, and the area, basically. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, there are discriminatory issues going on, but I think uh, we're all working to, towards a better um, um, future for our kids and our four generations, for women as well as for boys. Uh, Susan, let me come back to you in the United States as you Skype in from Idaho. Obviously, there are profound differences worldwide, uh, and I'm wondering, even as noble a goal as peace can engender at times hostility. Uh, have you found, and I'm, I don't know what the case is for Anna, maybe she'll want to address this in just a little while, but in the three minutes that remain, uh, internationally, have, have some of your ambassadors uh, found threats from their local governments for being involved in the caravan for peace? 
No, not at all. Actually, we've had great reception from all of our um, ambassadors, and they come from Uganda, Kenya, Mongolia, Pakistan, um, the Arab Emirates, Uganda, Guatemala, I mean, all over. We've really had a wonderful reception and a lot of interest in what they're doing because they're joining the youth from around the world. Uh, Anam, let me go back to you because here in the United States, quite often we see the, um, the footage of, uh, of attacks in Pakistan. We hear about unrest. Uh, are, are you ever afraid stepping up as an ambassador for peace given the climate in your homeland? Or tell us more about living in Pakistan. We have about two minutes left. Well, there has been a lot of uh, unrest recently as well. Even last uh, yesterday, we had a bomb blast in the city. But that doesn't stop us from doing stuff. Uh, the kids are going to school. Um, we are going to work. Um, educationists are working in their areas. Um, the, the corporate sector is running. So everything is kind of running. But um, yes, we do face challenges. And there are problems every day. Sometimes uh, un there are problems that we cannot really do something, anything about them at all. But uh, at the same time, there's resilience, there's hope, and there's uh, hard work. There's true will to make this place a better play, um, better world for all of us. A minute 30 remains. Susan, uh, you touched on it earlier. You have that literally a caravan in the Middle East. Could you just reiterate what the plans are for the caravan for peace? Sure. The World Peace Caravan will depart from Petra, Jordan on December 15th. We're actually doing a camel caravan for five nights heading to the Dead Sea. Uh, once in the Dead Sea, we'll host the World Peace and Health Conference that is open to the world. From there, we'll cross over into the Palestine Authority in Jerusalem. We have a peace walk in Jerusalem as well as a grand wrap-up concert in Jerusalem. It's a fabulous opportunity for people from all over the world. And right now we have about 350 people from 18 different countries joining us. And we have room for more, so we'd love to see more people come in. And uh, in the 30 seconds that remain, to, to find out more about your organization, where can people visit on the web, Susan? They need to go to www.world peacecaravan.org and they can also find us on Facebook page World Peace Caravan. And we see a good shot of that website. I guess we call it a screen grab to use the <laughs> proper technical phraseology. Anam Nawaz joining us by phone from Pakistan and Susan Johnson here in the U.S. of A. from Idaho. Ladies to you both, our thanks and we'll continue to monitor your efforts with the Caravan for Peace. When we come back, uh, things aren't exactly peaceful because our political panel will be here. <laughs>